hammered Dalton State in their first contest of the year. Opening tip is won back by Charles Lampton and they're underway from South Bend. Back out to Trey Jackson. Those three are the key for this Western Carolina team. And we're gonna have an early turnover to start this one. And that bothers him. Dave Davis, a sophomore, which makes him an experienced option on this Notre Dame team. Working inside, Marcus Burton in that win over Niagara. 29 points, as we said. Starts alongside another freshman in Braden Shrewsbury, Julian Roper. And that shot good over Matt Zona, one of the few returners for this Irish team. To start as well. That's the basketball here, working to the foul line. Shrewsbury pulls up from deep off the mark. 17. Russell Jones, you see leading the Catamounts up the court. Woolbright tries to work inside, out with Jackson and Lampton as that shot is knocked down. Woolbright was looking for a foul, didn't get it. That's exactly what Michael Shrewsbury wants. He wants them to make Woolbright a scorer, a scorer and not a distributor. Matt Zona connects from downtown and he's fired up. We're back from last year's team. Irish, of course, making a coaching change as a three-point answer comes from Russell Jones Jr. 14 times last year was Russell Jones Jr. in double fit. Justin Gray is happy over there on that sideline, Andrew. Yeah, we know he as well likes when his team is shooting from deep. Davis tries to work inside, too strong off the glass. Here's Jones again, connects again. Two threes from the top of the key right off the bat from Russell Jones Jr. Points. He's already got 10 in just 13 minutes so far in this one. Four of he just hit two, maybe some adjustments should be made there. Zona with the handoff, Burton to the foul line. He connects on a jumper. Good read of the ball screen. Knezny sizing up Woolbright, now switches off with Davis. Woolbright gets some space, takes it to the basket and scores Taylor. so far. For sure. Robertson looks to get downhill. Stops in his tracks, picks up Trey Jackson. Lefty scoop shot is no good. Logan Imes, one of the freshmen on this Irish team, draws contact. In the Big Ten in his first year there at 65 points per game allowed. Here's another three-point attempt, and that one falls from Booth. They've hit two so far on six tries in this one. DJ Campbell works inside, puts up the runner, no good. Tip drill on the rebound, and it's still up for grabs, all the way back to midcourt. And the Irish sold out for the board and winds up going bust. Right along the baseline, works it out to Roper. Tries to back up on Lampton, spins, righty shot, tried to go underneath, fights for his own rebound, still has it, draws contact. Can't Couple graduating, a bunch of transfers as well after Mike Bray stepped aside, following over two decades coaching this team. Here's Pelote from downtown. He drills a three. It's a game last season. Connects from downtown there. Here's Burton with a left side jumper. Too strong. Campbell in transition, down low, spins, tough shot, tip try, no good. That was Cornelius Williams following up. He checked in just a moment ago. Roper open for three, he drills it. Niagara, they've already connected four tries or on four of 12 tries from downtown. Here on this Saturday afternoon, Woolbright spinning too strong off the glass. Off ball screen, tries to free up Jones. Gets some space on the screen from Williams, takes advantage, nails the jumper from just beyond the paint. Drewsbury can't find space on Granger. Has some here, makes a nice move and left that three short. Zona tries to save it, but important both in terms of what they do offensively but also defending in Western Carolina. As you said, Dara, one of the top three point defending teams in the country. What an effort by Granger there to collect the rebound. Roper swings it, Zona takes it, too strong, looking for his second three of the year. Woolbright with a double team, Granger with the hook shot, gets the roll. That's Woolbright's bread and butter, backing him down, getting two feet in or close to the paint, and Granger's dishing. Got to tighten up in terms of bodying early when Woolbright wants to get himself into the paint. Already three assists for Woolbright, Burton to Zona, has space, puts it up, puts it in, and will go to the line. 
good use of the ball screen. Marcus Burton gets in there and makes the easy dish to Matt Zona. It's not often that the Irish have won games with their play inside, but that was the case on offense in their opener, and Burton gets inside again. I think we're having some flashbacks from the other night against Niagara. I mean, he's just so exciting to watch. Six points for Burton today, six straight for Notre Dame. Wolbright looks to end the streak and does just that. But before that shot, but Wolbright, even when he's in a bit of a rut, you always know the next hot streak is right around the corner as Burton. Transition three, Jackson off the mark. Hustle for the re Shrewsbury from the baseline. Booth from the logo, bank shot, falls, and the foul. With Booth, as you see here, creates the contact, stays with it, and gets the AM one. So, Irish will go to one and ones after. Booth off the mark, Roper goes down hard. Catamount's coming with the basketball. Five on four opportunity, and Wolverine can't take advantage. Smothered at the rim by Booth. The effort by Imes down low on Wolverine, pushing him out of the paint. That's exactly what they need. Jackson feeling for space. Tough shot. No there he good. is again with the rebound. For assist, three rebounds. For the Zionsville, Indiana native. And he's going to get two points here. A goaltend against the Catamounts. Kamar Robertson. Down low for Wolbright. The Albany native puts it up and in and one. Big answer for Vontarius Wolbright. As you watch here, he's persistent and he's dangerous when he gets two feet in the paint, as we see there. Touch on the hand, and you know Wolbright's going to capitalize on that. Can't capitalize on the free. Th Screen freeze up. Roper goes downhill. No on the first try. Second one's up and in. And another end one opportunity. This time it's Corey Booth converting. You see Roper gets downhill, almost Booth there. To... Wolbright and Imes, the two number twos going at it. Nice spin move by Wolbright, and he puts it up and in. And yet another and one opportunity. That's been the theme of this opening quarter. I mean, I'm like a broken record at this point. He gets two feet in the paint. He's a matchup problem for almost anybody. Again, Logan Imes is at the line for Notre Dame. Irish have struggled from the three throw line all day and then continue. Irish have clawed back a few times in this half and hasn't been able to close the gap completely yet and it gets wider as Wolbright drills one from downtown. Defers to Imes here. Kinesny inside, looks for space, double team comes. Zona from three, just off the mark. Last seconds of the shot clock. Pushing in transition, no surprise. Space opens up for Campbell at the top of the key. He's short on the three. Another rebound scramble. Campbell to Jackson off the screen. 4-3. No good. Follow-up also off the mark. A third try. That one is home. Catamounts trying to find the offensive stroke that they had late in the first half. Long range three is good. Coach never wants to lose a game, or does any player, of course. But the Irish know that they are in a rebuild as a program, obviously with the Roper going one-on-one -on -one with Robertson, shifts his way inside and somehow gets it to go. 12 points for Roper in this one. Three-point attempt from the right wing is no good from Pello. Two Irish players collide. Notre Dame beat Niagara with their defense. They're able to scratch back into this game with their defense. The offense coming through to Corey Booth with a triple, and it's a four-point game. These freshmen are hard workers, and they're proving it out here late in this second half. Stays for Jones, pull up three. The answer comes from Russell Jones Jr. once again. 20 points on the day. So stop the bleeding for Western Carolina. Four. Same play, here we go again. Four for five from beyond the arc for him, and Corey Booth is on fire as well. Davis to Booth, can he do it again? He does it again! 20 seconds, he's a versatile freshman. He showed us his inside game early on in the half. Notre Dame will have the last possession before we close it off. It was all academic though. Western Carolina had their lead threatened seriously late in the second half. Notre Dame closed it to as small as a three-point gap. But the veteran Catamounts using that big game experience to hold on.